Hello, I'm Sunit Mittal, and welcome to Heart Rhythm TV. This is an episode of HRS at Work, an inside look at the work being done in the committees within HRS. Today, I'm privileged to be joined by Luigi DiBiase, the chair of the Global Relations Committee. Welcome, Luigi. Thank you, Sunit, and thank you to Haridam TV for having me. Welcome. So I think a lot of our members, Luigi, want to know, what is the Global Relations Committee? Yes, I think, uh, uh, you know, it's important, you know, to, de to describe that. I'm the chair of the Global Relations Committee, and my co-chair is Dr. Eduardo Saad from Brazil. So the, the Global Relations Committee is a committee that tries to put together the world of electrophysiology. So the, the, uh, we have a representative for each uh, of the society of uh, the world. So we have a representation from ERA, representation from APHRS, representation from LAHRS, and uh, a different distribution of all countries. And we have a couple of representatives of each. So several activities can be done, but one of the purpose is to look into how can we make uh, electrophysiology not uh, a competition between society, rather something that is there to help our patients. So, you know, looking for the really improvement of care. Yeah, so I'm sure that last year was difficult because the ongoing COVID pandemic but could you tell members some of the things you worked on in this past year? Yes, so the, the first thing we did is, of course, to create the joint sessions. Uh, as you can see in the program, there are a lot of joint sessions that we try to contact uh, all the society. We try to put together the joint session between uh, ERA and LHRS, SOBRAC, LHRS, Argentina, Brazil, uh, Japan, and there are many of these sessions. You will find out where we try to you know, uh, put together a nice session. Second, we are looking into finding a document where we were looking at what are the barriers for female to go into electrophysiology. Mm -hmm. It's really at the preliminary stage. And we know that there are different barriers in different countries. The problem of Italy is different from the problem of India, is different from the problem of Europe versus South America versus uh, uh, Asia. So we were trying to say, what are the main barriers that block female to advance into the EP field? And this is a document we are, we are putting together. With this year, plan is to complete a document or a white papers in this direction, and then the, the committee has expanded to education. So we want education to be global. And I think uh, uh, a global relation committee is a, a perfect uh, uh, endpoint to do that. So we want uh, a fellow from uh, you know, Japan and a fellow from US and a fellow from East Coast versus West Coast and a fellow from South America to kind of have the chance to receive a global education. Mm -hmm. It's a very difficult task, but I think uh, uh, organization of uh, uh, you know, combined uh, events within the society will achieve the end point of we all know and we all do the same thing in the education. So I think education and representation of the education in our committee will be very important. Terrific, well, I thank you for all of that great work you're doing. It looks like your upcoming year will be a challenging one with a lot of things on your plate. For those who are interested in learning more about the Global Relations Committee, I'm sure uh, please reach out to Dr. DiBiase for more information uh, and stay tuned to these segments uh, for further information about other committees at work within HRS. Mm -hmm.